drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos dear students let's continue the chapter hydrocarbon so far we have uh, completed these two topics in this video we will study about alkenes 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 are unsaturated hydrocarbons because they do not have the maximum number of hydrogen that would be attached to the carbon atom and they have a carbon carbon double bond in their molecule their general formula is cnh2n okay and the simplest member will be ethene c2h4 just put the value n is equal to 2 you will get so whenever you need to find any member just put the value of n and accordingly you will get the member of the alkene family and alkene are also called as olefins it is derived from the greek word olefant which means oil forming because the larger member of the alkene series they react with chlorine to form oily products that's why they are known as olefins Let's, let's analyze the structure of the alkenes. How double bond is there? Okay. So in any alkene, there will be a carbon-carbon double bond. Okay. And in that, first of all, there will be one strong sigma bond that will be formed by overlap of one of the sp2 hybridized orbital. Okay. And it is stronger than the pi bond okay and then there will be a weaker pi bond sigma bond is stronger than the pi bond sigma bond is formed by hybridized orbital okay whereas the pi bond is formed by pure p orbital and here in sigma bond it is head on overlap whereas in pi bond it is sidewise overlap because of that, this sidewise overlap, it is not that efficient as compared to this head-on overlap. That's why the bond energy or the enthalpy of sigma bond will be higher as compared to the pi bond. That's why sigma bond is more stronger than the pi bond. Okay. And since if we compare alkane and alkene, Alkane has got only sigma bond. Okay. Whereas in alkenes between two carbon atoms, there is one sigma bond plus a pi bond. So obviously when there are two bonds, so the two carbon atoms will be brought closer to each other. So the bond length of double bond carbon should be shorter as compared to single bond between carbon carbon atom so as we can see that the bond length of carbon carbon atom in alkene is around 134 picometer whereas the bond length of carbon carbon bond in alkene single bond is around 154 picometer okay now since this bond is weaker the pi bond so the shared pair of electron will be loosely held that's why they could be easily attacked by the reagent so any electrophile will attack the alkene because of this loosely held electron uh, in our previous videos in previous chapter general organic chemistry we have studied in detail about the electrophile nucleophile and this is structure so if you have any doubt you can please go through those video okay so now let's come back so this is the loosely held electron so the molecule will be unstable and it can be attacked by the electrophile reagent whereas when we compare the alkanes, they do not have loosely held electrons. That's why 
the electrophilic reagents do not attack them. Thank you.